What's going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? And what I have for you today in this uh, video is basically giving you guys a tutorial on how to fix this issue now. Now let me explain what the title of this video means. So recently, maybe I would say about three weeks ago, I had like a problem with my computer where like I have Microsoft Office Word right here as you can see and normally uh, when you make a Word document you have like the icon of like the, the picture of the WN paper behind it and that's the icon image for Microsoft Word now because that at the time I was running a tune up my PC program called like tune up utilities it was actually a very good program it, it like gave me a lot of space on my hard drive back that was taken up by unnecessary files and temporary files uh, or uh, cookies, data and all that, etc. Uh, and I don't know what that was about. But anyway, because I had that program, somehow it must have done something to Microsoft Office that I had on my computer and it turned the Word document icons into you know, orange icons. and these are the icons that I'm talking about and then whenever I was to open this icon it would say that this file is only incompatible when the program's installed and that I didn't understand well I don't think that was the exact message but it had something to do with it and I didn't understand what that was about and for unfortunately when I was trying to search on the web on how to fix that issue it, it was a pain and the first method I found it was like using the picture tools uh, method and that didn't work at all because it saved the uh, program had to be uh, installed and blah 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 so uh, I was like alright just let it sit for three weeks because I did have other stuff to do and then I went back to it recently and I actually fixed the issue now so now uh, whenever I have a word document file it shows the right icon image now you guys are probably like, why does that matter? Well, no, because if you don't have the right icon image, then you have to open up Word and then find a file you're looking for and then you open it from there. Whereas you, it should be as simple as going into your computer or your USB flash drive, wherever you saved your Word document on and just double click it and then open it from there and then your document is opened ready for you. And I'm going to show you guys how to fix this. now. This can't be the only way because I believe it'll depend on what kind of Microsoft Office you have. In my case, I have Microsoft Office 2010 Starter. The reason why I have Starter is because it came with my computer when I got this particular computer machine about two years ago in 2011 of September. And here we are in 2013, October 8th. So it's a little over two years since I had this machine. And in order to like... Uh, upgrade my Microsoft Office in order to get like uh, Microsoft PowerPoint and Microsoft Office Access whatever I have to pay over a hundred bucks and I don't feel like doing that because right now I don't feel the need to have that but when I need it then I'll spend the money and get it versus trying to find it for free uh, don't don't ask but our uh, Microsoft Office starter came with Word and Excel now anyway I want to show you guys how you can fix this issue and this is bare, This is like a simple process. Uh, hopefully this will work for you because the first method I try to use uh, it was like let me show you guys what I would try to use at first so if I were to go to Microsoft Office Starter and Microsoft Office 2000 Tools, 2010 Tools and then I did Microsoft uh, Office Picture Manager I tried that method, that was actually a Microsoft Answers form and it didn't work at all because it gave me a different message. So this time, what I did was I went to the start menu, I went to the control panel, you go to uninstall a program and then you find Microsoft Office 2010 Starter, which is right there. Now you guys are probably thinking, did you have to uninstall and then reinstall it? No, I didn't do that. What I did was you have to... Uh, option to uninstall which I didn't do I kept finding it until there was another option and there was this one right here which one did I click I just had to click change 
that's it change the installation of this program and you hit yes and everything and then it'll go back to the original icon that it was at for the Microsoft Word document so that was all you had to do and I was like wow a simple process like this and I, I put it there for three weeks where I could have gotten it fixed at the time when I was trying to fix it but then again I can't blame myself I guess because uh, I didn't know how to solve the issue and I tried one method it didn't work and then I just let it sit and then find it again whatever I needed so that's all you had to do you all you have to do is click the change button and then you got the, your icons back to the way they were and now I don't have any more of these icons anymore so that was just a tutorial that I wanted to show you on how to fix uh, your incorrect icon images for uh, Microsoft Office Word. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, so I had an issue with my computer uh, for, uh, I would have to say, at least three weeks.